Sandwich! Just where I left it. Turn on the black light. After 22 years, the Animaniacs are back, along with some of the original voices, including Jess Harnell. He has voiced hundreds of beloved Hollywood animated characters, and he's also the frontman of the mashup band from the 80s, Rock Sugar, which is also getting a reboot. We have a lot to talk to <laughs> Jess Harnell about this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. It's great to see you. Hi. Yeah, you I don't know too. where to begin. Are we going to do imitations? Are you going to sing? Are you going to talk about the show? Why don't I'll tell you what. Let's start with maybe one or two of your favorite imitations, just to get things going. Well, you know, man, I, I, a nice way to tie the impressions into one of the other things we can double task here is people say, how did you get the idea for the voice for Wacko? And they said, well, why don't you try it like the Beatles? And I said, well, which Beatle do you want? And they said, don't they all pretty much sound the same? I said, of course not. You know, first of all, you got John and John's voice to me it always sounded like there was an arrow on it. It's coming out of his nose. It was sort of sharp, you know, and he sold like this. Then this Paul and Paul's voice is more like back in the throat, and a bit more chipper. Great. Right. Good to see you. Fantastic. You know, and then this George and George always sounded to me like he was congested and had a bit of a cold. And then there's Ringo down at the bottom going, peace and love, peace and love. So what we did is we took John Lennon and gave him some helium and he became wacko. So that was like six voices. I don't know how oh, many. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was great. So John Lennon was the inspiration for wacko. I had no idea. He was the inspiration for so many things, and Wacko was one of them, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that Just, is good. so good. How did you figure out that you were good at impressions? Is this something that you were good at as, at a young age, or is it something that developed over time? You know, Lauren, I always tell kids, I, I'm lucky enough to talk to kids a lot about following their dreams and doing what they hope to do in their lives. And it's like, if you can get paid for the same stuff that got you kicked out of school yep, when you were you little, then you, are, <laughs> you are beating the odds, man, right? You are and winning. yes, it's, it's just something that I always did. I'd always hear people's voices, whether it was singing or speaking, and go, what the hell are they making that hmm. sound? Where does that sound come from? And I try to figure out ways. It was like having a crayon box in my head that I would translate into my voice. Ah. Right. Very cool. All right. Well, let's talk about this uh, reboot of Animaniacs. Let's do. You know, the nice thing about it, Dan, is, is it was such a popular show in the 90s and it won so many accolades and awards and it made a lot of people really, really happy. You know, so we heard a few years ago that it was coming back. All of us have been very, very blessed and fortunate to work on a lot of animated properties ever since the show uh, ended in whatever that was, like 98. So when we heard it was coming back, it was like, oh, well, this is great. You know, if it happens, it'll be great. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. This is Hollywood. We don't count on too much. You know, but it did come back. And what was really fortuitous about it is it came back at the end of what I think we can all agree, you know, as with those great phrases that you guys were just banding around, yeah. has been a very challenging year, and it's the new normal, and all these <laughs> other things. And it was nice to see it come back at a time when I think that, you know, I, I don't overestimate my own capabilities, but it's nice to be able to yeah. make people happy, even if it's just for a few minutes, with something that maybe they used to love that now they can share with their kids. So we couldn't have picked a better time to bring Animaniacs back and get Zany to the max all over again, because God knows we need it right about now, you know? We sure do. And I have some nostalgia watching some of them because I used to watch Animaniacs as a kid. Oh, so yeah. Thank is it, you. yeah, oh absolutely. So in, in terms of the, the 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 fresh update, how different is it from what we were what we saw as kids? That's a great question, Lauren. And you know, the thing the thing that's different about it, the nice thing about it is it's all the stuff that you loved back then, but with a fresh coat of paint mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of new topics. In other words, Animaniacs was always, I always looked at it as sort of a Trojan horse because this is a kid's cartoon, right? Yeah, but it's a kid's cartoon masquerading as a satirical variety show with musical numbers like Broadway, right? So it had all these other weird things in it. Well, now, basically, it's the same characters you know and love from back then, but if you think about it, in the 90s, we didn't really have the internet. We didn't have YouTube or social media or influences or the political climate that we've had. And Animaniacs has always been the best at taking a cartoon needle, needle and poking into some very real balloons. You know nice. what I mean? So basically, it's those characters, but now we get to mess with, I don't know, the Kardashians, you name it. Whatever's topical <laughs> now, we yeah. can mess with that. And I think that's great. Nice. All right. So uh, let's talk about Rock Sugar. Uh, what is going on with the band? Well, Rock Sugar, you know, Dan, that thing started as a joke. This is my favorite thing about it because it just goes to show you kids that sometimes ideas you have that you just think are goofy turn into these big things. I just happened to have a random idea. Once upon a time, I said to my guitar player buddy, you know what would be funny for a band is if there was a band in the 80s, like a hair metal band, like, I don't know, Guns N' Roses or Def Leppard or something like that, and they got shipwrecked on a desert island at the end of the 80s and had nothing to listen to but pop records from the 80s for 20 years, and they got brainwashed, and they started thinking that Madonna was 
was his metal as ACDC. And he said, well, how would that work? I said, I don't know. Maybe you could play Enter Sandman by Metallica, and I could sing Don't Stop Believing by Journey, and we could call it Don't Stop the Sandman. Right? <laughs> well, we made video, right? Yeah. We made a video. I see, the cool thing is that being able to imitate people, I can imitate singers. So yeah. a lot of these things, I would imitate these singers in these mashups. Thing went viral. Before you know it, we were no kidding. We were opening shows for Aerosmith and ACDC and Linkin Park and Def Leppard and all these guys we had posters of when we were kids and looking at each other and going, Dude, this this is this is like a, a well-meaning joke. And so what happened was we had a really, really nice run. We actually, in long story short, we got sued by a singer who my impression was so close, I guess. He actually thought it was his voice. We had to go to court, prove it oh, wasn't wow. him singing, it was me singing. We did that. But we said, you know what? A couple of years ago we said, and again, good fortuitous timing. I said, let's make let, let's do another rock sugar album. And this time, let's not just combine 80s metal with 80s pop. Let's combine 80s metal with today's pop so you can get your Motley Crew and Adele at the same time, right? Yeah. Yes. So we made this new record. It wrapped up also at the end of 2020 when I think people could use to have a good time well, again. Well, you have bang about bang a million bang things bang going on, Jess. Uh, this is, I um, can't wait to hear about it. Can't wait to watch it here. Thank you so much, hey, Jess, thanks, for joining Jess. us here in Chicago. For more information, you can check out rocksugarband.com. Also, save rocksugar.com. Watch the Animatic, uh, Animaniacs <laughs> reboot on Hulu. Jess, thanks again. Hey, thanks, guys. Have a great day. You thanks, too. you too.